si Susan, sinulat ni na Teacher Jovi at Teacher Julian. Si Susan ay siyam na sa Sabado. At gusto niyang makatanggap ng mga regalo. Sapatos, suklay at sinturon ang una sa listahan niya. Salamin, sisiw at sipilyo ay idinagdag pa. Inilista rin niya ang gusto niyang handa. Spaghetti, sopas at suman. Saging, sisig at salad. Ngunit sa kaarawan niya ay hindi natupad dahil ang pera niya ay hindi sapat. Pero ang sabi ni Susan ay okay lang dahil sa kaibigan siya ay mapalad. Si Susan Hi, it's Chuvian Education. If you're new to our channel, click the subscribe button and you'll get to enjoy our educational videos for free. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified for new videos. Check out our latest videos about PowerPoint here on the description box below. For this video, I'm going to teach you how to turn your PowerPoint into a storybook. You heard me, it's a nice way to manage class well. Sending virtual storybooks is amazing. If you're interested, keep on watching. We are here on our PowerPoint presentation. The first thing we're going to do is go to the design menu and then go to the format background and fill out the color you want. For me, this one. And then let's go back to the home menu Close this one and let's insert a rectangle. Go to the upper left corner of your slide and then drag your mouse going here until this part to create the first page. Let's format, format this one. Let's remove the outline, no outline. And then let's change the color into what color? Okay, this one. I like it. The next thing we're going to do is to insert again a shape. This one. And then let's drag the mouse just like this. Let's rotate it and put it here. Let's format. Let's remove the outline and go back to shape fill just like that. Let's remove also the outline of this one. That should do it. Now, you click this one and then press control button and click this one. Now, right click and click group. So they will be grouped. They will go together just like this. Now, we are going to press control D to duplicate the slide. Just like this. Now, we are going to change the color. Oh, I like this. We're going to change the color. And then we're going to drag it here. I'm going to drag it here, this one. I'm going to drag it until here. Now, I forgot to put a shadow here. So, you click this one, the sky blue color. And then, go to the format menu. And go to the shape effects. Then, go to the shadow. Click this one. Now, let's go back to Shape Effects and go to Shadow and go to the Shadow Options. And the Format Shape panel will appear. Now, let's adjust the Blur into 10 points. And let's adjust the Distance into 7 points. That should do it. Let's close this one. And let's do the same to this blue, dark blue shape. Let's go to the Shape shadow then let's go back let's go to shadow again and go to shadow options let's make the blur put 10 points and the distance for seven points that should do it now it's the same as the first one 
Let's click this one and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate, to create another page. Let's change the color. What color do you want? Oh, that's so bright. Okay, this one, I like it. And let's put it here. We're going to move this one. Click again and let's move it here. There you have it. Now, let us duplicate again. Let's change the color, whatever color you like. I like this one. Let's click this small shape and put it there. Now, we are now ready to drag it. We're going to drag it here. That should do it. We can put it closer, just like this. However you like. Just drag it and put it above the previous page that you created. There you go. And for the last one, let's put it here. Now, we are going to the other PowerPoint which I made that I prepared already the contents for the story. The first thing is to paste the title. And then, you click this first slide. Click this first slide and then press control button and let's group them together. Group so that they will go together. And then let's drag them here. Okay. Stay there for a while. Now, let's go back to the second page. Let's copy the picture here. Click this one. Let's copy. Go back here and let's paste it here. Now, we are now ready for our second page. Now, we have to group them again and click this one. Right click and group. We are now done with the second one. Now, you stay here for a while, and let's go back and copy again the third picture. And paste it here, and we are now ready for it here. Let's just press the slides. The last slide na lang. Let's go here, and let's copy for the last slide, or the last picture. Let's paste it here. Then make sure to group them, click the slide also, and then let's bring it to back. Now, we can now drag it back to its original position. Make sure they are aligned. For this to come on top of this one, you go to the arrange and bring it forward. One more, bring to front. Come on. Bring to front. Bring to front. There you go. And then this one. Let's bring it to front again. And then the last one. Let's bring it to front. Now we have or we have created already our first pages of our book. Let's just arrange them like that. Just like this, the way you like it. Depends on how you will arrange it. Okay, we're now done with the first. The same process will be done here. And then, when you're finished, you go back and then go to animations. Go to animations. And click the first slide. Then go to the add animation. And go down, down, down there, more motion paths. Then look for the left, this one. To create the motion going to the left, just like that. And then we're going to drag this one. And then we're going to drag this line going there to adjust the direction. Up until here. 
until here until the end almost the end of the slide more there you go we're done with that now let's move the slide here let's click this one click on add animation again more motion pass and look for the left click it and adjust again the direction or the length of direction until here so we're done again with that let's drag it here set aside and click this one next is go back to more motion path and click left let's adjust again the direction going here okay and let's drag again here click this one and then add animation again more motion paths look for the left and click let's drag until here okay is it aligned there you go make sure that the slides are aligned there you go then after doing that you can now move them back to their original position slideshow let's see the effect see how it went so your slide should appear like this as you click on the animation okay after doing that you go to the next one so that's it that is how you turn your powerpoint presentation into a storybook i hope you like it don't forget to like and subscribe and share it to your friends Bye!